Welcome to this Christmas edition of Vantage Point. In the next few moments, you'll be hearing from members of our staff who will be bringing greetings from their hearts about this season of Christmas. We are grateful for this staff and the ways in which the ministry of the Connecticut Conference is carried out. I'm blessed to work with them. So here now the members of our staff bringing to you this conference our greetings. Hi, I'm Tim Hughes, Executive Director at Silver Lake Conference Center. Silent night, holy night. Good morning and Merry Christmas from Jane Fawcett, the Director of Finance and Budget. I'm Tom Clough, the Eastern Regional Minister. That would be the Connecticut Valley, the quiet corner, and the not-so-quiet coastal regions of Eastern Connecticut. Would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and look forward to working with you in the new year. Charlie Kuchenbrod, Finance and Development Team Leader. May Christ be born or born again in your heart this Christmas. Merry Christmas! The world can be a difficult place uh, at the holidays or at any other time. It's not because the world is perfect that God sent Jesus. It was because there is nighttime in our lives. And so I remind you of the blessing of Jesus who came that there might be light in the darkness, a candle in the night. May all the joys of Christmas be yours. Hello, I'm Tamara Moreland, the Regional Minister for the Northwest Central Region of the Connecticut Conference. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless. My favorite version of Mary's Magnificat is written by M.T. Winter and appears in her book entitled The Gospel According to Mary. My soul proclaims the power of God. My spirit delights in her wonderful ways, for she has shown favor to me, a woman. Generations of women will all be blessed, for she who has the power to open the womb has done inconceivable things through me. Holy is her name. Her mercy flows through mother and child from generation to generation. She silences the arrogant with the strength of her outstretched arm, puts down principalities and powers as she empowers the poor, feeds those who are hungry while those who seem to have everything are left unsatisfied. We have felt her compassionate presence as she spoke through our mothers and grandmothers, keeping the promise she made to Sarah and her daughters, now and forever. I wish you all a blessed Advent and holiday season. All right, I'm here for my Christmas beating. No, Drew, it's a Christmas greeting. Oh. You would assume we would just have a Christmas tweeting. Well, let's hurry up. The moment's fleeting. I'm Karen Zeal, Minister of Faith Formation. I'm Debbie Kirk, Director of Give Squared. God's grace be with you in the coming year as together we grow a faith-forming, multiracial, multicultural, open and affirming, accessible to all, just peace, globally-minded movement of youth and young adults in the Connecticut Conference. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. I'm Michael Seba, Southwest Regional Minister for Fairfield East, Fairfield West, and Litchfield South Associations. I want to wish you a wonderful Christmas and the best new year ever. Hi, this is Stephanie Pittman. I'm the business manager at the Silver Lake Conference Center. And I just wanted to take this time to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and come visit Silver Lake. Hello, I'm John Van Epps, the archivist. Now in the good old days, Christmas was illegal in New England, but times change, so I wish you a very blessed Christmas. Hi, I'm Michelle Mudrick, the legislative advocate for the Connecticut Conference of the United Church of Christ. Feliz Navidad, Joya Noel, Feliz Natal, and one of my favorites, Melekaliki Maka is Hawaii's way to say Merry Christmas, a very Merry Christmas to you. 
Hi, I'm Mary Nelson Abbott, the South Central Regional Minister for the Connecticut Conference of the United Church of Christ. I wish you and yours a very happy Christmas and a wonderful new year. What is it that gives Christmas its meaning? Well, it's a pretty good story that bears repeating. Time off work means longer sleeping. The, the brightest star in the sky was gleaming. Dancing sugar plums in my dreaming. No, magi traveled. Mary was beaming. Presents piled to the ceiling. Uh, the, the spreading cheer, people pleasing. Raining, hailstorms, snowing, sleeting. And that thing with the Lord's a leaping. All the ovens are preheating. Oh, good, because outer space is freezing. And the cupcakes are depleting. Hi, I'm Sue Willis, Program Associate and Connecticut Conference Registrar. Wishing you and your loved ones a magical Christmas and a new year filled with light and love. God bless. Hola, mi nombre es Yolanda Montano y desde la Conferencia de Connecticut le quiero desear una feliz Navidad y un próspero año nuevo. Felicidades. Merry Christmas! Hi, I'm Reverend Dave McAllister and I am your Associate Conference Minister for Youth and Young Adults for today, but in just a few days I will be your Associate Conference Minister for Leadership and Vitality. From both roles and in both places, I am here to wish you an incredibly fabulous Christmas. This is the time of God's love and joy and peace and faith and wisdom and a whole bunch of other stuff made manifest and we've already seen one amazing Advent miracle in the wedding of Monica and Soroya and we are hoping that you are going to tweet and Facebook us about millions more miracles during this season. So have an incredibly wonderful, fabulous, splintiferous Merry Christmas. Wait, no, no, it's the day Jesus started breathing. Is this the one with the trick-or-treating? Child was born, forever redeeming. So you're saying Christmas is not about overeating? There's no competing. We should start screaming. Season's, Season's greetings! greetings! This season of Advent, we hear the message of waiting and watching for the coming of Christ. Each week, an Advent candle is lit to proclaim hope, peace, love, and joy. So as we prepare for the coming of Christ anew into our hearts, I bring greetings on behalf of my family and our conference staff that you might experience God's deepest love expressed in the Christ child. Merry Christmas to you and to yours.